I'm gonna. There we go. Hold on. Oh, okay. There he is. Okay. All right. So, uh, YouTube, if you're still here, jump over to playback. I'll see you there. This is the end of the YouTube stream. And let's continue. Wow. There. Oh, so, we were live. Wow. Okay. I'm ending it there. Thank you for. All right. Phil's got his OBS camera on. That's not working. And we're here, though. Guys, we're back. Give me those. Give me those ice cold snowflakes because that was a little bit of a cluster F, as they say. But we are. Oh wow! I got a lot of ice. Look at that. I'm on. I'm on ice fire. Um, all right, LG, we're back. Phil, we're back. As soon as you can figure out your 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 camera and microphone. Is it not working? Am I not on? Can you hear I can me? Hear you. I just can't see you. So you might have to click below where and just change your camera. Everyone's giving me the ice right now. So LG, I will start with you since we can see you. LG, tell me in the speed round. What's something that you love about the NBA Top Shot community? Man, it's the slowest speed round I've ever been part of. I know. We're going to speed um, it up. I'm going to get what, something. Uh, faster, faster. Some... <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> question is this? Um, well, if you want to skip it, if you want to skip it, community. we'll go straight to something you don't like about it. <laughs> I don't have an answer for either one, honestly. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> Great. That's the content we like here. <laughs> uh, what I like, I, I don't know about love. Love is a really strong word. I wouldn't say there's anything I love about it. Uh, what I will say is that they are the, the community is blindly resilient, and that's a good mm. thing. Okay. What about you, Phil? What's something you like or love or think is nice about the community? Um, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna I'm so busy fire. with this damn camera thing. I'm losing my mind with this thing. Um, <laughs> I think just 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 the ability at, at – at my age anyways, or at our age to, to have actually made friends out of this is, is, mm. is what I've loved. I mean, it's, it's it, that to me, making friends online, random people that I can call amazing friends. And I've actually never met in person was mm. kind of unheard of. Like that's kind of, it, that used to be creepy until I, I got into this space, but now I totally get it. And there's some people I feel like are, are some of my better friends uh, because we spend almost every day together. Um, that again, I've never met. So the ability to make new friends for me is, is pretty special. Now, what about next? What's something you dislike or hate even about the community? Go ahead, LG. Um, their reluctance to try new things. What about you, Phil? Just the full, I, I can't, I, this is a love hate thing, but just the, the full chaos that ensues for even small things. Um, the constant complaining for me is what I don't like. I don't like the mm. constant complaint, but says, the complaining says the guy we, who was the, hold on, listen, the hold small on. thing says the guy who was the first one to tweet out about the bet, the fake email the other day. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I didn't complain though. I didn't complain. I was laughing at that. But the uh, constant, yeah, like, yeah. the constant, for me, the constant fudding or like complaining, and then you're still here. Why? All the shit that I don't like anymore, I am gone. I don't hang out in the discords complaining. I, I'm gone. If I don't like it, see ya. There's no just sitting there and, and, and complaining every day. You don't like it, floor it, and get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the new favorite LG thing to say. That. Yeah, LG absolutely <laughs> loves that. That's, that's you <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, there you go. Look, check the chat. There you go. TS sucks. All right, perfect. <laughs> how about how about how about a quick NBA take? Who's going to win the title this year? And tell me who's going to make it out of the East and the West. LG. Uh, I'm so 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 bad at these. Uh, I'm going to go with a repeat of last year's finals. I think it's the Celtics Warriors again. Ooh, okay, that, that's a hot take. That's a hot take because the Warriors have been absolute dog shit on the road. But what about you, Phil? What do you think? Yeah, that's the one and only reason I can't pick the Warriors is because of how they've been on the road. Although they've won two in a row now, which is like. Uh oh, what's going on here? Uh, but that game might might be under scandal review. Yeah, I have to say, at the end of the day, I can't pick the Sixers out of the East. I just can't. There's something that bothers me about that team, and I hate Joel Embiid. And I actually enjoy that gif of him crying in Toronto <laughs> after losing to the Raptors and Kawhi Leonard. Um, so good I, to watch that. Anytime it comes up, I'm get so happy. It's so good. It really <laughs> that's is. your. That's what that. So hold on. Earlier in the stream, I was saying, what video can you watch that get, brings you joy? And that video for you is Joel Embiid crying. Oh, we love it because he did that stupid airplane thing against us in the playoffs, right? Mm, and then and yeah. then the Toronto fans did it, and he started crying like a baby, like you know, like come on, dude. 
I, I there's yeah. something about that guy that rubs me the wrong way. And then that was just such a I don't know if the shot was better. If I enjoyed the shot more, if I enjoyed seeing that after. I know it sounds really bad to say, but I did really enjoy seeing how upset he was when he was the one that was <laughs> like, he was taunting the crowd the entire series. Like, dude, you, you brought this upon yourself. Um, I like the Bucks. I like the I actually no, sorry, I'll go oh, man, it's tough. For me, it's Bucks or Celtics out of yep. the East, for sure. Um, yep. I just don't know who's going to screw up. I, the Bucks look, I don't know. Something's wrong with Giannis this year. Is it? I don't know. I can't get a good read on the East. It's tough. Out of the West, I will go with, I think we'll have a surprise team come out of the West. Um, I would love to see OKC make a run of some kind. They're just too young. Yeah, that would be that would be incredible. It really would. Um, they, they have kept up with some of the best teams in the league on, on any given night. But they're just missing pieces, right? Um, too much youth there. And, and they're a couple of years away, I think, from competing. And Sacramento, again, don't have a superstar. They have a lot of stars, but not superstars. So if that was your dark horse team, I'd, I'd go with them. I can't stand Phoenix. Man, I hate to say it, but I think I'll, I'll take the Warriors. I think wow. the Warriors, I think they still have a run in them. If they can figure things out on the road, which it looks like that game last night, to be honest with you, was a game they've lost a hundred times in the last couple of, of months on right. the road, and they found a way to win it. I know Kyrie wasn't in the lineup, but Luca was. The game was tight. They blew a lead late. They still pulled it off, regardless of the refs and, and that whole situation. I'll go with the Warriors. I think they got, they've got one more run left in that dynasty. I, I'll give you both fireballs because those are some pretty spicy mm-hmm. takes to think the Warriors <laughs> are going to get back there. I, I think I think it's going to be the... I think it's going to be the Celtics, of course. I'm a homer, mm-hmm. and I mm-hmm. think on in the West, uh, God, I would hate to see Kevin Durant and the Suns get there. I just think it's dirty. Me too. Um, and, and I do kind of think the Nuggets deserve it. I like all the Kings, all my Kings friends in this community. I like the Kings. If, if they could somehow make it there, I would think that would be great. Uh, but I think realistically, my 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 prediction in the beginning of the year was Bucks Nuggets, but I'm mm-hmm. gonna politely adjust that to Celtics Nuggets. I Homer. I would love to pick Nuggets, but I just have a thing against Jamal Murray now where I can't really cheer. He's another he's another Canadian, right? Yeah. Yeah. You don't um, you don't like your fellow Canadians. Not all Canadian. Canadians are nice. No, I I, I was I was nice. maybe if I if you asked me a year ago who my favorite Canadian basketball player was, I would have probably told you Shea and Jamal Murray are very close. Jamal Murray probably in front. And I'm at the point where I kind of can't stand Jamal Murray. And I don't want to get too much into that. But um, can you guys still hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, I don't know. It said poor connection. I don't know what the hell that means. I see that in the left corner there. I don't know if that's you or me. But um, but I I, I had a an, – I went over this on stream. I think we only talked about it once on the podcast or on, on one of our live streams. But I had an in-person interaction with Jamal Murray. And I, I was left not very impressed. Oh, really? Um, we were at a CBL basketball game here in Toronto. That's the games where um, um, J. Cole was playing for, the Scarborough Shooting Stars. Do you remember that whole episode where J. Cole played professional? I he do. played in Toronto. The fans were coming out like crazy. It's literally a few blocks from my house in Scarborough where they, where they play. So I, I used to go to a lot of games. Drake was always there. Tons of celebrities would come out. I took my son a couple times, took my daughter. It's just such a great experience, um, that team like that. Right. And my daughter is the biggest Jamal Murray fan. She even opened a Top Shot account uh, and 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 collected Jamal Murray moments. She even bought one for eight hundred dollars when Holy we were playing shit. fake money. She got in a no. She she got a Luca uh, something in in a pack. She sold it and bought a Jamal Murray for eight hundred bucks. Then they banned her account and they're like, "Too bad. We'll give you a couple of packs and see you later." That was wow. that was a bad experience, and I never kind of I never pursued that. Just let it go. But right. she was a huge Jamal Murray fan. So we were at the game. Drake was there. And she says, look, that's Jamal Murray sitting courtside. And this is a tiny little gym that fits a couple thousand people. That's the home arena. It's a tiny little gym with a thousand people, a couple thousand people. Great atmosphere. And she saw Jamal Murray. And she saw a couple of kids go up to Drake and take pictures with him. And she's, yeah. like, she's like, that'd be cool to take a picture with Drake. But I'm like, you know what? You probably won't get near him. But then she saw Jamal Murray. And nobody in the arena knew Jamal Murray was there. He was in his street clothes. He was front row. Nobody knew he was there. So I said, well... It looks like no nothing is going on around him. So why don't at halftime we go down there and you go ask him if for a picture, not an autograph. She just wants a picture with him. That's what she told me. Yeah. But she's like, man, I'm kind of shy. Like, can you like help me? I'm like, all right, well, I'll take you there. And then you ask him, hey, Mr. Murray, can I please just take a picture with you? 
So I took her down. This is halftime. And he's like on his phone or not even on his phone. He's just chilling. He's not doing anything else. Halftime, nothing's going on. And she was terrified to do it. But she finally found the courage. And she went up to him, didn't bother anybody, and said, Mr. Murray, can I please take a picture with you? My dad will take it. And I'm standing there with the camera to take the picture. And he looks back at me and he looks at her. He goes, no, I can't. And that was it. And, I, and if you could see the look on her face. And she was so humiliated by the whole thing. Because it had already taken so much courage for her to actually go up there and, and, and ask. Right? She was so humiliated by that. That I tried to play it off like, oh, you know, they're busy sometimes. But a part of me wanted to just tear into the guy. And I ran a poll on Twitter. And, and people were kind of on both sides. Some people were saying you shouldn't be bothering stars and all that. But guess what? You know what? At the end of the day, you're in a public place. You're in Canada where people love you. You're at a tiny little basketball game. Um, you know, we're, we're just local fans are there. It's not like crazy autograph seekers and things like that. That was the J. Cole crowd. They were all there to sign records and shit like that. But yeah. You know, you're Jamal Murray and, and, and this little girl who's 11 or 12 at the time is such a big fan of yours. And I can guarantee you that you ruined that for life. I know you don't care, but, you know, I wanted to say something. But, you know, the, the kind of, you know, cool headed side of me, which is not always there in those situations, just said, you know what, just walk away. And, and, and still to this day, I know it bothers her, but kind of a shitty experience with Jamal Murray. I've never I've never looked at him the same uh, after that. Right. So yeah, no, that's, I know this is rapid funny. fire, but sorry, I had to <laughs> <laughs> very rapid fire with a ten yeah. minute answer. My bad. Um, so no, yeah, I'm, no. go, I'm not cheering for the Nuggets. I'll, All I'll right, fair enough. Okay, at least we know why now. Uh, let's see. Next rapid fire question: uh, oh, What are your rank these NFT Twitter terms uh, from terms you hate oh, the most? Uh, to hate the least, and here's the ones that I I kind of hate all of them equally, but uh, here's here they are: WGMI, GM, Sir, S E R, and Friend, F R E N. Um, what are those? Do you hate them all uh, equally, or do you hate one more than the rest? Sir is hilarious, and I love using it. Uh, <laughs> all the wag me stuff is total garbage. Like GM wag me all that stuff, I fucking can't stand it. <laughs> okay. That's it. I hate so the only one you like is Sir. You uh, hate everything uh, else. And Phil, I hate all of them. I can't. Sir, okay. I cannot stand Sir GM. Phil, Phil hasn't heard people. them until just now. Phil no, didn't know any of those. Until I have, I've I've said now, this on stream before. I cannot stand GM. I just don't like. I'm like <laughs> it was cool at the time. Okay, it was cool when Los made that song about us and all that, and he said GM and all like that. At that period of time, it was cool. Right now, the GM thing for me is done. Like that trend is gone. All those trends are gone. The sir thing is always dri driven me nuts. I don't like any of them. <laughs> Equally hate all of them. All of the above. No joke. Yeah. That cool song by Mark Zuckerberg's sister was awesome, right? <laughs> um, how about hidden talent? What is a hidden talent, LG, that you have that people don't know about? Oh, wow. A hidden talent. Uh, I can remember really obscure actors from different movies and TV shows from like years and years and years ago. That's pretty good. Like when they appear now. Yeah. When they appear now, you, you know, like what episode they appeared in or you just like, I'll give are. you an example. Like the other, like, like recently I was watching an episode of Seinfeld uh, and it was the one where uh, Kramer and Newman want to get homeless people to pull their rickshaw. Do you remember that? No. And, um, like they, they they have these three bums there that they're gonna they're doing tryouts for pulling the rickshaw, <laughs> and then one of them is they're like, all right, Rusty, you're up, and he takes the rickshaw and runs away, and and he vanishes like he steals the rickshaw. Um, but like as soon as like the camera is on this one homeless guy, Rusty, as soon as it was on him, in my head I was like, that is Uncle Rico from Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, like man. it's like it's like instant like i can recognize like a face of like an actor in like a, like in literally a heartbeat i have one for um, you though so with him. it's it's it's, a, it's an incredibly useless talent lg did you do you know what recent hbo show he uncle rico was in that was excellent uh no no i probably haven't seen the it. white lotus have you watched it oh i've heard of that no I haven't watched oh, it. I love that show. Uh, there, there's a recommendation for you guys for the White Lotus. I, I really love that show, and Uncle Rico is in it. Um, Phil, what about you? Do you have a hidden hidden talent that people don't know about? Yes, I, I can do the sound of a loon. Like, do you know what a loon is? Kind of like a yeah, it's a, it's a bird. <laughs> Are you ready for it? I'm going to do yeah. it right now. Okay, I've always been able to. Kids love this. All right, oh, I here we go. Turn down the sound. Oh, oh, hold on. I got to wet my like knuckles. Wet your whistle. Pathetic. Hold on. 
Oh, it's not coming out. Oh, I got gum in my mouth. Hold on. Okay. Mm. That's not bad. Hold on. That wasn't bad. It's pretty good. Oh, Jesus. My hands are dry. All right. Well, it's not working on, it's not firing on all, on all cylinders right now, but I've done this in the woods at like camping before. And people are like telling stories to their grandchildren that they heard the loon. <laughs> so I feel like I got to look up a loon call now. Man, we should um, do a talent show. I didn't know we'd be doing this. So I didn't prep my like lips or anything. I got to put like yeah. a little bit of cream on them. <laughs> yeah, you got you got you got the... yeah, Phil, prep your lips next time for Danny's stream. <laughs> if you don't mind. Here, how, how about this? Just for Phil. Here Those go, lips Phil. ready next time. Here we go, Phil. This is for you. Hold on. There you go. Can you hear that? Yeah. Sounds like me. All right. This is the Phil made this video. <laughs> no, this, this is Phil's ASMR. Holy shit, it's not working. Phil, oh, there you go. A lot better than that. I've heard it. I can do way better than that. I'm, That's an I, awful. I, yeah. That loon sucks. He really does. I, I trust you can. That's but okay, now now we're sitting in the Canadian campfire, listening to the loons in the back. Um, the next question is: What's the best trip you've ever taken? Hmm. Fuck. <laughs> going on? Uh, is this like an anxiety video? What do you mean trip? Like- like weekend trip or like vacation or like travel or what do you mean? I guess you can take that as however you want to take it, LG. If you can, if trip means something else to you, you can. Yeah, I love saying it. If it's an acid trip, <laughs> I was thinking more of a vacation, a uh, play, a destination. I don't know. I've never thought of that. I went to Tunisia once, and that was pretty insane. And traveled with a local person. Who took me to like the middle of the Sahara and we went to like where they shot Star Wars, which is still like a set in the middle of the desert. So that was kind of cool. And then my stomach pretty much just exploded for six days straight while I was there. (laughs) Yeah, that's what happened to me in Morocco. So I'm glad we have that in 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 common. Yeah, same area, North North Africa, right? Yeah. So so same area. But uh probably best trip is when I went to Vietnam a couple years ago. Ate my way through the country. It was fantastic. There's a there's it's not about the Vietnam War, but I watched a show, uh, Netflix docu- not movie that the one that was uh, nominated, the uh, All Clear. What's it called? Quiet on the Western Front. Very good. Um, and what about you, Phil? Do you have a memorable trip? I think uh, I don't know how how old LG was at the time, but I think our trip to Europe. We took a European trip when I was. Um, I would say maybe a junior in high You're school. Like 15. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So maybe a freshman. Like I'm not sure. Something like that. Like 11. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, it always stuck with me. We went to like 10 different, well, not 10, maybe seven or eight different countries or whatever it was. And it was a guided tour by Globus Tour Bus. And I think when we get together as a family, LG was much younger, but I'm sure he remembers some of it. Um, that's one of the trips we talk about the most. That was the most exciting. And we've been on a lot of trips, but that one was like, mm-hmm. I don't think I've gone back to Europe or any of those countries since. So, and I would love to, but yeah, that was definitely a trip that, that, oh man, this loon's putting me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, that was a great trip. Euro That's trip. That's awesome. Uh, LG, here's a question for you. Uh, what is your favorite? How many more questions you got, Tandy, man? We've, we've been on this for two hours, man. How many questions <laughs> you got left? Well, this could be yeah, the I last question if you like. What is, what is your favorite okay, French word? Ooh. Well, there's so many. Phil, what do you think? I feel like there's so many different, like even most, of, if you read me in Phil's text, it's mainly just hilarious French words. Um, I hit on a good question. <laughs> there's, uh, you know, I don't know if there's a specific word, but there's a band uh, that I found a, a cassette of once and I played it for Phil at a hockey tournament. Um, and it's the, the name of the band is Vilain Penguin, which like <laughs> Vilain is like villain and Penguin is penguin. So like villain pe- penguin, like but that. in French, it's way more hilarious. And it's funny that they named their band that, <laughs> and they had a song that was called Salut Salo. <laughs> What's Salo? <laughs> which is like, like Phil, what you call it? It's What's a, a shed or like, or like, a, or... like a dirt bag. Yeah. Like, bag. Yeah. It's like just a piece of shit. 
<laughs> yeah, a slime bag kind of yeah. thing. It's like a French term for French slang term for like slime bag. So it's like, hello, slime bag was like their 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 main hit. <laughs> I like it. Um, so uh, yeah, so I'd say more. I'd say more like French terms like that are funny. And jump shoot has a quick one for you, LG. A quick follow up, and then you're all good to go. Which is, do you like the tragically hip? Hmm. No. Okay. I like some I'm of their songs. No, never have. I don't. I've never actually listened to their music. But Phil, do you? What is your f- favorite French word? I have so many. Like I just whip out. Like ask LG. I'll, I'll whip out the most random French words, and so does he. he. Does the same thing. Like we'll reply to some stupid thing on the Discord with random French words. I actually débarbouillette is my favorite, and that kind of is where it all originated for Arsenic's channel in the First Mint Discord, and it means just a cloth. And I, I never understood as a kid why a cloth would be called um, such a weird name that's so far from cloth. Débarbouillette. Like it's wild. Nobody could even spell that if you asked them to, right? So. That would be my favorite word. (laughs) Well, those are great questions, great answers. Um, I know you guys want to go. So, LG, if you want to (laughs) drop off, (laughs) you're you're allowed to drop off. Phil, you're allowed to drop off. Uh, I appreciate that. Are you sticking around? I'm going to stick around for another like 10 10 minutes or so. Okay. All right. Yeah, no, I do have to go. But thanks for having us, man. I'm I'm an animal. Um, but yeah, thank awesome. you for thank you guys. I feel like we covered a lot of good stuff. I feel I feel like that was some good content in there. Mm-hmm. If only I was better at mm-hmm. cutting stuff up afterwards, which I'm not, but I liked it. <laughs> You're all good, Teddy. Thanks for having us, man. All right, I appreciate Had you. Had a guys. blast, thank dude. You. Thanks, all right, thanks to both. Thanks of you. everyone. All right, take care, guys. Talk to you guys later. All right, so now we'll just sit and listen to the loons for a little while, uh, and I'll talk to the chat for a little while. So, how are you guys doing? I see some of you guys. If anybody else wants to come on straight stage, I know Alexo's in here. Um, I think someone else wanted to tell their Jamal Murray story. I think that was Top Shot Tesla. So Top Shot Tesla, if you want to come tell your Jamal Murray story, just ask for the stage and we'll get you on here. And I'll change the background so we're not listening to loons making us fall asleep. And maybe we can actually even see what's been going on because I have some clips from today's action. I like to usually do that on playback. We kind of see what's going on on. What are the talking heads talking about? What's the Stephen A. Smith's talking about? Um, are people overreacting to the Warriors? Most likely they are. Let's see if I can find some some good shit here. So I'm going to I'm gonna get a little clip of the Warriors because I haven't watched that yet. So we can watch that together. And let's take a look at what was going on in that Warriors game. Are they back? Are they not? 